Right. And you got your brother occupying two roster spots. <laughs> Are we going to talk about that? You know good and well, Giannis, your brother's probably not going to be playing for any other team in the NBA except Milwaukee, and that's only because of you. So you keep talking about surrounding you with talent. There's two spots that's being occupied by your brothers. I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> agreeing with Shannon, because you know why? I ain't shit calling his brothers ain't shit. Like, yo, the niggas is trash, bro. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to NBA Cinema. Now, recently... Giannis Antetokounmpo was on a podcast and was asked in regards to could he see himself finishing his career in Milwaukee. Take a listen here. Uh, but at the end of the day, I am a winner. I want to be a winner. I don't want to be able to get stuck. As long as we are in for a championship, as long as nobody's comfortable, as long as everybody sacrifice the, the same amount of time and sweat and blood that I've sacrificed for this city, to, uh, to win a championship, we are all we are all good. But the moment I feel like people are not committed as a, as as I am to get that uh, golden pin in the back, I I, I am not. In. Now this response from Giannis actually sparked um, you know conversation. I remember Kendrick Perkins. He said he if he was Giannis's teammate, he would feel slighted um, in the Milwaukee Bucks organization. And Shannon Sharp on first take with Stephen A. Smith actually went a step further. He said, look, <laughs> Milwaukee is obviously brought in, you know, and, and tried to uh, do everything you, you asked if, as far as a concession, because you, you have two of your brothers who really aren't good players, but they're making an NBA salary on the roster just so you can have that family niche. Take a, a, a listen here at Shannon Sharp. Adrian Griffin, you got a new coach. Hell, he's just getting there. Give him a chance. You gave Mike Budenholz a chance. That's right. And you got your brother occupying two roster spots. <laughs> Are we going to talk about that? You know good and well, Giannis, your brother's probably not going to be playing for any other team in the NBA except Milwaukee, and that's only because of you. So you keep talking about surrounding you with talent. There's two spots that's being occupied by your brothers. <laughs> Ouch, Uncle Shannon, tell us how you really feel. Well, I mean, no lies detected. I mean, obviously, you know, that's uh, that's the case in Milwaukee. They're trying to make sure that Giannis feels that comfort and that Milwaukee's home by having his brothers there, working out with it, all of that. Now, Cameron from the It Is What It Is podcast, him and Mace, they actually got on the subject and was asked about Shannon's comments. And Cameron, you know, he he was backing Uncle Shannon. Take a listen. Yeah, yeah I don't know what I don't know what to say about that. If you got two of your brothers on a team, all he need now is his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm definitely agreeing with Shannon because you know why? I ain't shit calling his brothers ain't shit. Like, yo, the niggas is trash, bro. And I can see if them niggas- His brother's not good? Them niggas is trash. Like, not even good a little bit. Them niggas is trash. Yo, listen, if they was good, let's say for instance, right? There's a little bit good. Motherfucking, you would hear about them in FIBA or something like yeah. in the World Cup and playing for Greece or whatever. Them niggas is trash. I, I'm 100% with, with Shannon. The one brother is just his personal assistant. The one that's always there, I seen the nigga pick. But he pick. plays on a team. He's on a team, but that's just, to me, it's the person sitting the nigga picking his nose one game. He had a booger in his nose. I said, like, yo, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Now they got the other brother that was in the G League, played for the Lakers for a minute. He's on the team. He's super trash. Dumb trash. Like, look, but this is what I say, right? <clears throat> this is what I say. This is what's going on, in my opinion. Giannis was uh, over here when he first got to America, to, to, um, to the Bucks. Yeah. You know? To get the visa or whatever the paperwork to move over here, mm -hmm. you get three opportunities to come to move over here. The third one, if you don't get it, you never can get it. Yeah. They turned his parents down twice. So when it was time for him to get the third opportunity, Giannis said, if they don't get through, I'm just gonna have to go back to Greece. Niggas, all of a sudden, on the third oh, yeah. Trial. So Milwaukee did what they had to do to get him. Yeah, they got his parents here. So yeah. when, to me, Giannis like, oh, I start threatening niggas. 
I get my way. Hey, yo. Matter of fact, you know my brother, he aight, right? <laughs> <laughs> and my other brother, he aight. <laughs> so if you want me to stay here, yeah. they need to, I need to be around family. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. But I agree with Shannon Sharp. If you want, you're occupying two roster spots. Because look, you got to have them as trainers. Yeah, two players on a team could totally change a, a team, though. Two good players yeah. added to a team can... Look, why can't they just team. be part of Milwaukee Bucks staff? Why they gotta be players? Niggas like, because that's not their dream. <laughs> like, Giannis is on some bully shit over there. That niggas is bullying the whole situation. And look, why they couldn't be trainers? They could still travel with the team. But they want playing the NBA. That's what I'm trying to tell you, nigga. This is what I'm saying. Giannis said, I'm gonna make all our dreams, dreams come, come true. true. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> they probably offered them jobs as trainers, yeah. and they was like. Nah, we cool on that. We wanna we wanna be in the NBA because this makes absolutely no sense. Niggas is trash, bro. I'm agreeing with Shannon Sharp on this, bro.